Hello, my name is Suzanne Bowami. I am the Interim State Family Program Director. Just want to take this time today to thank our military spouses for all your contributions and support um, to our military members throughout their tenure with the National Guard. So my name is Sarah Durasi and my husband is Phil Durasi and he is a Black Hawk pilot in the National Guard. Hi, I am Jessica Connor and this is Emmett Connor. Um, I am a spouse of Ian Connor. I am a veteran. I was in the Army National Guard for six years. So we've been a military family for almost 12 years and so we've had kids for about five years of it and uh, certainly having the children has complicated things a bit but um, especially now that we're on our first deployment together as a family. Uh, and him being so young right now too he doesn't always understand why dad's gone and so sometimes he'll say where's dad at and I'm like well he's working and so it can be a bit challenging for Emmett too. Yeah. yeah. And I, my daughter did want to mention that she said make sure you tell them that we get to eat one jelly bean every day to celebrate our love for dad while he's gone and to make sure that we think of him and she said maybe other kids would like that idea and then my other daughter said yes and tell them that we have sleepover parties every Friday because their dad left on a Friday and so it's an easy day to celebrate but so we celebrate the weeks with a sleepover party right yeah. do we watch movies yeah yeah and we blow up the air mattresses in front of the TV and what do we eat you forgot popcorn Popcorn. and ice cream mm -hmm. yes I'm just really proud of the work that Ian is doing and I know it's a lot of hours and a lot of hard work and I know that he loves it and so I'm really proud of him for the work that he's doing. And it's hard and they miss their dad but it's not forever so I feel like there's a lot that they can glean from it and learn that they can use for themselves in the future to where they might face something hard you know three years from now and think man, this makes me feel awful. But I remember that one time I felt even worse. Different than just a normal everyday job um, because they can be gone for quite a while. We've been fortunate enough that he hasn't been deployed yet, um, but it's just the amount of hours they spend away can be really challenging. So it's interesting how when life gets harder, you decide to celebrate life even more. And, and it's almost kind of ironic. And you're like, well, why don't I celebrate every Friday in real life? Well, I'm just happy that I can give him a stable support uh, platform. So that way he's like, okay, I don't have to stress as much about what's going on at home because I know that she's got it taken care of and so he can focus on what he needs to do. My, and it's a long story, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll, I'll cut it right now.